They get a nice dig. Look at the patterns. Boom, oh, right out of my hand. It is nuts to see how big they're getting. All right, what is this? He told me two turtles. He's hitting a surprise. I think we have a surprise. What is going on, Krills? Welcome back to another video. I feel like it's been a minute since we've just kind of hung out here at the farm and did some farm stuff. So today, we're not only doing farm stuff, we're obviously gonna get some fish for the pond. But yes, we're gonna give you a nice update on everyone here at the farm. I gotta feed everyone. It's just another morning. But it's not only a regular morning. Rick and Morty are over here, our emus. Hello, emu. It's a floody morning. It is absolutely drenched out here. It's been raining all day. But guess what, regardless of wind, the rain, storms, hurricanes, tornit, animals gotta eat. So let's get uh let's get these guys fed. They get a nice feed. There we go. And Ricky Morty grab and toss. They like to grab their food and just toss it right back into their mouth. It looks so much neater over here now. I got a nice hose hung up. They've got their water bowl over there. You guys are good. With all this rain, they don't even use their water. Over here, uh, exactly why we built this building is finally coming into play. Uh, this time of year, it rains a lot. So all of the ground, literally all of the ground is wet. And with these hooves on the goats, you don't want them to be standing in that. Even their house gets like an island. It's just wet around it. So, I built this massive house along with Hector, and uh... All of the goats, each and every one of them, absolutely love this thing. They're all on it right now. Why, why leave it, right? They're all dry. I could probably have like a four foot storm surge and they'd still be dry. Although when I do this, they're gonna start jumping down and they're gonna come splash me, so I gotta get the food. I gotta get the food quick. I gotta get them some hay too as well, but for now, it's a good morning grain. Mama go, get down there and go eat. There she goes. She's contemplating whether to get her hoofs wet. You're gonna have to just do it. She is beyond confused right now. Uh, oh, wet crocs and socks. That is never a good feeling. Hello, Lady May and Mango, you big mother. Watch my foot just sink. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Put half in there for you, Mango. Do another half over here. Now I like to get their fly spray. And I'll spray their whole trim of their house and this will just help prevent a little bit of the flies. I mean, not all of them, but. It definitely helps. And after I do this, you'll see. Lady May, how's that food? Now I know a lot of you love these farm updates, so it's nice to do them every once in a while. The last couple of videos we've been all over the place. It is nasty out. Dry land, Whew. Oh yeah. Bubba, catch up dude, you're in the mud, you gotta go. There you go. Talk about flooded. The hog and coon coon enclosure. All right, let's get some food out of here. You know, for a change, baby, you actually left your main water bowl a little bit cleaner than your poop water bowl. She likes to poop in her water. It, it never made sense to me. I've even tried giving her baths and like cleaning her up. She's just a little dirty. All right, everybody is eating. Enough of that. Let's head into the fish building. See all the clownfish up in the corner? And a lot of fish surrounding this rock. We got the monos up front. A lot of these pajamas inside the middle, and obviously there is the parrot fish right there, beautiful colors. And of course our snapper is probably hiding inside the rock. I might have to get rid of that squirrel fish. Bad news, I think the squirrel fish is getting to a couple of the clownfish. I could be totally wrong, the clownfish could just be hiding. But I think there's a good possibility, not like a lot of them, but some of them are definitely being eaten by that snapper soldier fish. 50 names for this fish. I think he's getting to a couple of our clowns. And that ain't gonna slide around here. Buddy, I'm gonna snag you right out of that thing and put you back in the fish store. If you didn't watch one of my last videos putting 50 clownfish in that pond, what are you doing? It was a great video and you definitely wanna go check it out because the pond now looks like it's actually filled in, it's completed a bit. Instead of going the predatory route, we have obviously went the community fish route and I like this route. It provides a lot more uh, movement in the aquarium than having the predatory fish. And we're obviously used to having the predatory fish because we got this pond over here. This is the uh, 5,500 gallon. You got a garami, paku, and uh, a bunch of other catfish and stuff in there. Look at that big old rib saw. Platinum red tail coming up right there. We got some big, big, big fish in here. Hey, largemouth. You guys want to see something crazy? This is all for the uh, salt water. But let me grab. I have some silver sides. Thump loves these. Along with everything else, to be honest with you. Look at all my monsters. What's up, beast? If y'all remember, I could not get Thump to eat anything for the last, like, gosh only knows how long, and look at him now. It is crazy to see how aggressive he is. Boom, right out of my hand. Is that not crazy to see Thump do that? 
Like he's never been like that. And he took down that whole silver side thing. My bass is finally eating out of my hand. It's so crazy to say that. Months and months and months. I actually literally revived that thing. When that fish slice hit this pond heavy, he actually got an air bladder problem, was floating. I took a needle, pushed all the air out of his stomach, and he got back right. And now look at him, eating like better than ever. Never give up on your fish, that's a fact. Things happen in the hobby, and I saved that guy. Now look at him, he loves me, and he loves silver sides even more. We got another one for him. I don't know, he just ate a whole chunk of them, so we'll see. Peacock! Everything's like so trained now. Here, Arowana. Boom. Now I'm just gonna dump the rest of these guys in there and let everyone eat. Everyone eats though, everyone eats, come on. Who's gonna get it? Look at them. It is nuts to see how big they're getting. The Paku looks like a football. Holy smokes. That right there is a quick feeding for the morning. Thumpy did a great job, I'm proud of you, buddy. To everyone that ordered on PC Aquatics on the drop, your orders, well, for live fish, they'll be shipped early next week because we ship Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. For all the dry goods, if you ordered any dry goods here, if all the dry goods were shipped yesterday, uh, unless you just purchased while I'm filming this, that makes a difference. You're wet, sorry. Anyway, your orders should be, should be shipped, should be on the way. Now, the only thing I have not showed you in this backyard is that pond over yonder. And this pond over here just recently I actually got a shipment from Predatory Fins. They rescued a couple big turtles, had nowhere to put them. I said I'll gladly pick them up from the airport and get them into the backyard pond. So we did just that. Oh, son of a gun, the train horn was still on. All right, we got our turtles. We're gonna walk them back to the pond, the pond that now has a dock in it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Predatory Fins is also my partner in PC Aquatics for my live fish, so. You guys know you're clearly getting some very very good quality fish shipping and if not we have a live arrival guarantee let's see what we're rocking with here he only told me two he told me two turtles he's taking a surprise i think we have a surprise they're in like little tupperwares they got some water it's nice and cool in there quality boop number one is this beautiful little yellow belly we have a lot of these in my mom's house we don't have any turtles in here so i was like I'll put him in here. So long, brother. What is this? Whoa, dude. What is, what is that? that? All right, what is this? Ugh. Whoa. What in the? What in the? What in the? It's got a stub tail. Remember, these are rescues. Not exactly sure what species that is, but it's freaking epic. And then in here, look what else we got. This is my. This is. This is. This is just beautiful. Oh. Oh. No. Whoa. He's peeing all over me. Ah, there he goes. Is that not just the prettiest thing ever? Go, buddy. Go. I actually have a bunch of little babies of him for the website. We're going to be selling little versions. See you later, dude. There he goes. Thought I had two. We had three. That's the best part of Little Mystery Unboxings from Predatory Fins. Thanks, guys. Pond now has Oscars from one of our last videos, and turtles. Now this turtle's in this pond and is about to be fish as well. We're going to the store real quick and scooping up a bunch of goldfish. Omega goldfish. And just like that, you can see them through the bag. Look at them all in there. A hundred plus goldfish, all for the pond. Over a hundred goldfish about to go into the pond. If you guys weren't familiar, this pond has gotten a big upgrade in the last couple of days. I'm gonna put this bag into acclimate while we explain. The rock work looks incredible. Of course, we added this dock, this five foot dock. Starts here, goes straight out obviously. Hector built this just recently. Along with that, we threw all these rocks in the bank so that the turtles had something to sit on. The dock was kind of primarily there just to throw food off of and train these Oscars to come up. Now, a couple weeks back, if you don't remember, shout out to Chilili, a bunch of aquatic plants. You can't really see them uh, too well until they really, really grow in. Also got some mangroves back there, and they just help fill in the bank so much better. Of course, also a new waterfall. I have yet to see uh, Oscars come up to the surface off the end of the dock. We throw about a half a scoop of pellets in. I know they're down there eating. I know they're in here healthier than ever, especially with all this rainwater lately. As you can see, the pond is very, very high. They're thriving in here. I'm sure uh, all these won't grow big like last time because they do have predators now. Obviously, turtles might get to some of them. 
Oscars will get to some of them. But 100 goldfish is a great start for this pond. We can always go get like literally a thousand of them. There's millions of minnows in here as well. Uh, it's just like the trench in my yard before we had filled it in. They just come out of nowhere, like hundreds of minnows. So there's definitely thousands of minnows in here as well. There's a good amount of life in this pond. It's getting better and better. I would love to put some native species in here, maybe largemouth bass, which we've got some of those on PC Aquatics. If you guys haven't checked out the new website, PCAquatics.shop, links in the description. Oh my goodness, you guys blew it up. I appreciate it so much. But yeah, we sell a couple fish on there that would actually be kind of cool in here. If you guys have any suggestions on fish that we should get for this literally native backyard pond, Definitely let me know, it came out so good. Just a couple weeks ago, this literally looked like a hole in the ground, like just a, just a hole in the ground, it looked ugly. And now, look at this. It's, a, it's presentable, it's beautiful. A lot of goldfish in here. Bunch of different colors, different sizes. By the way, last time I was out here, I walked up and all three of our new turtles were sitting right here on the bank. Now obviously they're in here somewhere. Along with some other baby turtles that have released in the past, I would love to actually put the yellow bellies in here. All right, inside the turtle house, this is uh, where all the baby turtles lie. Just go on in. I got a little bucket here to get them. Obviously, we have a couple containers with turtles in them at the moment. We've soon to have a bunch once we have aquatic turtles available on the website. But this is where all my yellow bellies are. This one got attacked by a Paku. He has now grown three times the size and he's doing great. He's ready. It's my little grow out tanks. Uh, we got another one right here. That's another good size. Here's one more. That's a good one. My goodness, they're getting big. It's crazy to see how fast they grow. What do we got? Oh, look how tiny. We got a nice musk turtle. That one's really, really cool. Put him in too. And then I know we have a baby musk in here somewhere. Let's take these plants out. Look at how tiny this guy is. Now this is a little tiny, tiny musk turtle. I'm gonna actually put him, I'm gonna probably put him right here with the other babies. So we got four turtles. Four turtle, four total turtles. That is a tongue twister there. Four total turtles to go into the pond. I think I'm actually gonna go get some baby turtles for this pond here soon. Five is fine. No, Five of these, no. they'll grow out, dude. We're gonna see no. them all over no, the backyard. We need 20. I think yellow belly is the way to go though, because we'll be able to just see them all over the place. Soft shells just hide. Still only 500 bucks for 20. There's a few albinos up there too. And there's some map turtles as well. But I think we're gonna stick to the basics here. Alrighty, thank you so much. Do you want a baby? Yeah, please. And just like that, fellas, we got baby turtles. I want you guys to name all five of these little turtles, and eventually, in one of these upcoming videos, we're gonna do a hunt. We're gonna try to find them in the pond. And now we're about to put some baby turtles into the pond, so I haven't done a baby turtle video in a long time. This is so awesome. Look at the beautiful colors on these little yellow bellies. Look at the patterns. Isn't that adorable? Little yellow belly. And just like this, ready? Right in the water. Look how tiny. Oh, he's gone. Each and every single turtle has a different pattern. Oh, all right, see ya, bud. <laughs> this is probably the most beautiful one we've got the whole entire time. Little baby turtles. What do you think the chance of us finding these guys later on in life is? Let me know in the comments down below. It's a big pond. They're obviously not going anywhere. This is all they ever need. And these guys have, these rocks right here are also specifically meant, I actually literally put them in one to make the bank look good, but so the turtles could bask. I came out here and I saw a couple turtles basking on them already. So before we get the goldfish in, looks like we are gonna put some turtles in. We got a little musk right here. Put him right there. We got the yellow bellies. We'll get both of these yellow bellies and just flop them in. See you later, guys. We'll see you when you're three times the size. And then of course, Mr. Cut Shell right here. We'll know you when we see you, even when you're big. See you later. All right, musk, you can go. We hope to see you one day later. Oh yeah. You could see him down there. I mean, not great, but you could see him down there. They're gonna get so big. If they, if they don't get attacked by Oscars, these little guys that you see swimming around will be just like the ones that we had put in here previously. This pond was once literally like a mud hole. I told you guys that. We had put goldfish in here hundreds of them, they grew up to be big. We netted them out when we drained the water. I grew them in the building for a little bit and then when we got this thing filled back up, I ended up putting all of them back into the pond. So we have some big goldfish in here that were from the original batch of goldfish. Whew! Alrighty, Caferos, well, that right there was not only an update at the farm, but also stocking my backyard pond 
with a bunch of goldfish. I know today was a bit of a quicker video. This thing really is just coming out so amazing. I definitely could not be happy with the way it turned out. Very simple build, saved a lot of money doing this too. Initially the project's plans were to like do a whole liner and all this other stuff and it was like projected to be over $30,000. I ended up doing this and only spent like four. Finally, I did something financially right. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe down below with the bell on. Go check out the new website, PCAquatics.shop. Put a lot of effort into that and uh, it's performing pretty well and I couldn't thank you guys enough. We'll see you right back here in the very next video. Peace.